Hello students, welcome to Science Learning Gateway. I hope you all are doing good. So today we are going to discuss class 7th science chapter number 11 transportation in animals and plants exercise question answer. In this video we are going to discuss the question answers of chapter number 11 class 7th science. So please uh, listen to the video carefully and understand the question answers so that it will be easy for you to learn the answers. Okay, so let's start with the chapter. Before starting guys, I have a small request from you all. If you're really liking my tutorial and my work, then please like on the like uh, on the video and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that whenever I will be uploading a new video, you will get the notification for that. Okay, so let's start with our discussion of chapter number 11, question answers. First question we have match the following. In this the first question is stomata. The stomata will match with transpiration because stomata, the function of stomata is it helps in transpiration. Next we have xylem. Xylem helps in transportation of water. This is a function of xylem. Next we have root hairs. What is the function of roots or root hairs? It absorbs the water. So answer is absorption of water. And next one is phloem. And the function of phloem is it transports the food. Phloem helps in the transportation of food and xylem helps in the transportation of water. So this is your mass the column. We are finished with the mass the column. Next question is fill in the blanks. Now we'll discuss fill in the blanks. Uh, seven, eight fill in the blanks are given over there. One by one, we'll discuss all the fill in the blanks. First question is the blood from the heart is transported to all the parts of the body by dash. So which blood vessel helps in the transport transportation of blood from heart to all body parts? Arteries. Arteries help in the transportation of blood from the heart to all the body parts. Second question is. Hemoglobin is present in dash. So hemoglobin is present in what? It is present in red blood cell. You know that the color of hemoglobin is a red color pigment. It makes our blood red. So it is present in red blood cells. Third question is arteries and veins are joined by a network of dash. So arteries and veins are joined by what? They are joined by the capillaries. Okay. Capillaries are the blood vessels which will join the arteries and the veins. Fourth question we have the rhythmic expansion and contraction of the heart is called dash. So what is that? What, that? what do we call that? The rhythmic expansion and contraction of heart we call that as heartbeat. Okay. The rhythmic expansion and contraction of heart is called heartbeat. And the fifth one is the main excretory product in human being is dash. So what is the main excretory product in human being? It is urea. Urea is a waste metal of our body. It is the main excretory product or the waste metal of our body. It is removed by uh, with the urine. So urea is the main excretory product in human beings. Question number six is sweat contains water and water and dash. So sweat will contain water and salts. You know that during the summers in our clothes, some dark patches can be seen. And that dark patches are because of the salts which are present in the sweat. So your answer is salt. And the seventh point we have kidneys eliminate the waste material in the liquid form called dash so what does which waste metal comes out from the body it the urine comes out from body and kidneys act as a filter to remove the waste material from the blood and it excrete what it excrete urine right and eight question we have water reaches great heights in the trees because of suction pull caused by dash so what is the name of that process that is called transpiration water will reach to the trees in the to the great height through the roots the water is absorbed and it reaches to the upper part of the body and that process is called transpiration so with this we have finished the fill in the blanks if you have any doubt you can comment in the comment section i will try to clear your doubt next question we have choose the correct answers choose the correct option or answer whatever you can say the first question we have in plants water is transported through to which uh, which yeah, which blood vessel which um, Vessel helps in the transportation of water in the plants. Xylem, phloem, stomata or root hairs. We know that xylem, xylem helps in the transportation of water. So the answer is xylem. Second question we have in the shed, sorry, water absorption through roots can be increased by keeping the plant. If we will keep the plant, suppose we want, uh, we want that the water absorbed by the root is increased. So where we should keep the plant? In the shed, in the dim light, under the fan covered with a polythene bag so where we should keep the keep the plant under the fan so that the water will be absorbed more by the plants so these are the answers of choose the correct answer now we'll discuss the question answers first question we have water is why is transport of material necessary in plant or animal explain 
you know that transport of materials any substance is necessary in plants also and in animals also but what is the reason behind that that answer we have to write over there so what is the answer transport of material is necessary for plants or animals because due to it the nutrients and oxygens are made available to all the parts of the body it is that why transport is necessary so that all the essential essential requirements whether it is nutrient oxygen it should be present in all the parts of the body it should go to all the parts of the body it is not that it is present in one part only it should be present in all the parts of the body if the transport of necessary nutrients and oxygen does not take place in the body the body will not be able to survive so this is the answer transport of material is necessary for plants and animals because due to it the nutrients and oxygen you know that the nutrients and oxygen are very important for us are made available to all the parts of the body means it should be transported to all the parts of the body if the transport of necessary nutrients and oxygen does not take place in the body the body will not be able to survive if these nutrients and oxygen will not be present in all the parts of the body what will happen we cannot survive we uh, many diseases can be present in our body we cannot survive also even the death can also occur so it is recommended that all the materials should be transported in plants as well as in animals now we'll move towards the next question question number 5 what will happen if there are no platelets in the blood suppose you know what is the function of the blood as uh, platelets platelets help in the clotting of the blood during the accident or any injury blood flows from our body and if platelets are not present in our body what will happen the blood will the blood will not uh, not clot and it will flow from our body and if the blood will uh, the blood the if the blood will flow what will happen the amount of blood in our body will decrease also so platelets help in the clotting of the blood the blood platelets are responsible for clotting of the blood this is a function of the platelet platelets help in the clotting of blood when some injury occurs blood starts flowing during accident or during injury blood flows from our body but it clots clots on its own but after some time you can see that blood will clot by its own right if there are no platelets blood will not be able to clot and help and keep on flowing huge loss of blood ultimately causes death if blood will keep on flowing keep on flowing what will happen it can lead to death also so what is the answer platelets help in the clotting of blood when during the injury blood starts flowing but it clots in on its own if there are no platelets the blood will not be able to clot and keep on flowing and huge loss of blood ultimately causes death this is the answer of this question now we have question number 6 what is stomata give two functions of stomata the small openings or pores pores on the lower surface of the leaves are called stomata in the leaf you have seen the small openings are present suppose this is a leaf in the leaf small small openings are present like this these openings or pores are called stomata they are present on the lower surface of the leaf right so what are stomata the small openings or pores on the lower surface of the leaves are called stomata these no openings are surrounded with guard cells okay the openings which are present on the stomata are surrounded by surround are surrounded with what are surrounded with guard cells now we have to write the functions of stomata so there are two important functions of stomata first function of stomata is it helps in the transpiration of water transpiration means loss of water loss of excess water from the plant so first function of stomata is it helps in the transpiration of water and the second function of stomata it helps in exchange of gases like oxygen oxygen will come out from the plants and through the leaves and carbon dioxide will enter into the plant so it help in the exchange of gases like carbon dioxide and oxygen these are the two important functions of your stomata now we have question number 7 does transpiration serve any useful function in plants explain means what is the function of transpiration in plant does it it is is it helpful for the plant or not that answer will write so we'll write this answer in four points right So the first point it it helps to enhance the absorption of water and dissolved minerals by the creation of suction pull. If transpiration is there, what will happen? It the more water will be absorbed by the plant, and the dissolved minerals, uh, uh, more water and minerals will be absorbed by the plant by creation of suction pull. By the process of transpiration, some trans suction pull will be created in the plant. Because of that, more water will be absorbed by the plant. second point it it helps in getting rid of excess water since you know that transpiration means loss of water so if excess water is there in the plant then that water will also be 
removed from the plant third point is it helps in transport of water and minerals to leaves to leaves and leaves use water for photosynthesis so transpiration also helps in the transportation of water and minerals to the leaves means what the leaves need water and minerals for the preparation of food right so it it helps in the transportation of water and minerals to the leaves and leaves use water for what for, for which process for photosynthesis and the last point is it produces a cooling effect on the plant so what what transpiration will do it will produce a cooling effect on the plant also okay transpiration will produce a cooling effect on the plant so these are the four points which we have written for the transpiration answer now we'll move towards the next question question number 8 what are the components of blood means what are the parts of the blood or what are the what are the substances which are present in the blood now there are four components of blood first is the plasma the liquid or fluid material of the blood is called the plasma next we have the red blood cell because of that the blood is red in color next we have white blood cell it fight against the infections right and last we have platelets it helps in the clotting of the blood so there are four components of blood plasma red blood cell white blood cells as well as the platelets okay now we have question number 9 why is blood needed by all the parts of the body why blood is needed by all the parts of the body you know that in every part of our body whether it is our brain or our head or legs in every part of our body blood is present so why blood is needed needed by all the parts of the body blood is needed by all the parts so parts because it contains the digested food and oxygen in it means you know that we are when we are eating the food the food is digested in our body some of the food which is digested is absorbed by the blood and blood also carries oxygen with it so blood is needed by all the parts of the body because of the digested food and oxygen present in the blood it supplies the oxygen and digested food to various parts of the body to provide essential energy to them which helps the body to perform various functions when blood will absorb the digested food and oxygen it will give that oxygen and digested food to all the parts of the body so that all the parts of the body will get the energy and perform their various body functions that's why blood is needed by all the parts of the body so why blood is needed by all the parts of the body because digested food and oxygen is absorbed by the blood and that oxygen and digested food is transported to various parts of the body so that they will perform so that they will get energy also and they will perform the different types of body functions also what makes the blood look red why blood is red in color blood is red in color because of the red color pigment called hemoglobin present in it the red pigment called hemoglobin gives the blood its red color this pigment helps in carrying oxygen to various parts of the body by blood so the red pig so why blood is red in color blood is red in color because of the red color pigment called hemoglobin present in the blood this pigment helps in carrying oxygen to various part of the body by the blood hemoglobin binds with the oxygen and that oxygen is carried to various parts of the body with the help of the blood now we have question number 11 describe the function of the heart this is important question So what is the function of the heart the right auricle and ventricle receives blood with carbon dioxide from all the parts of the body so what is the function of these auricles and ventricles the right auricles and ventricles they will receive the blood which contains carbon dioxide from all the parts of the body the collected blood is then pumped to the lungs for the purification after that that blood goes into the lungs for its purification or filtration in the lungs the exchange of gases take place and purified blood is sent back to the left auricle okay in the lungs the blood is purified and after that that same blood the blood which is now pure is sent to the left auricle okay and it pumps it to the left ventricle also which in turn pumps pumps off the purified blood to all the parts of the body through the arteries and from the heart the blood goes to different parts of the body by the help of the arteries so once again we'll discuss this answer the right auricle and the ventricle they will receive the blood which carries carbon dioxide means they will carry the impure blood from all the parts of the body and they will take that blood to the lungs okay from the lungs the in the lungs the blood is purified and after that the blood goes into the left auricle right 
from the left auricle the blood goes to different body parts by the help of the arteries so this is the answer for the function of the heart next we have why it is necessary to excrete waste product means why excretion is necessary for living organism you know that in our body various types of waste material are there right to throughout to remove those waste material excretion process is necessary if those waste waste material will be accumulated in our body what will happen we can suffer from many types of diseases right for example in your house so many waste products are there like kitchen waste paper waste etc we used to throw those waste from our house okay if those waste will be collected in our in our homes our homes will be dirty we can suffer from diseases like that only in all the living organism whether it is plants humans animals all the waste materials should be removed from the their body so that they will lead a normal and healthy life now what is the answer why it is necessary to excrete waste products sudden waste and toxic products are formed during functioning of body cells okay many types of waste material and toxic substances are produced in our body by the help of the cells because cells perform different types of function and they and they give different types of waste also the waste product like urea etc are toxic the waste material like urea it is very toxic and harmful in nature when these toxic materials are not removed from the body they get mixed with the blood and can damage the cells of the body it is necessary to remove such poisonous waste material from our body when these toxic materials are not removed from the body what will happen they get mixed with the blood and can damage the cells of the body it is necessary so it is necessary to remove such poisonous waste material from our body right so what was the answer many cells are present in our body which perform different types of function and in turn they will produce different types of waste and toxic materials also and the waste materials like urea etc they are very harmful for our body they should be removed from our body otherwise they will mix with the blood and can damage the body cells also so it is necessary to remove such poisonous waste material from our body now we have finally reached to the last question of this chapter question number 13 draw a diagram of human excretory system and label the various parts this diagram is important from your exam point of view also so practice this diagram this is diagram given over there two kidneys you have and these tube like structure is called the ureter the surround structure is called the urinary bladder where urine is collected and the urine comes out from the body by the help of the urinary opening so this is a diagram of the human excretory system i hope you all have understood the question answers of lesson number 11 transportation in animals and plants if you have any doubt you can comment in the comment section i will try to clear your doubt thank you for watching my channel science learning gateway if you like this tutorial then please click on the like button and share it with your friends also don't forget to click on the bell icon so that whenever i will be uploading a new video you will get the notification for that and you can also connect with me through my facebook page the link i will provide in the description box thank you for watching